Today on On Dating, we will talk about how dating sites, a $700 million venture, have grown and changed since they popped up in the early and the mid-90s. I didn't even have email then. I'm Andrea Sirtash, and this is On Dating. Do you know someone who met their significant other online? I actually met an American lady the other day and she found her husband-to-be online. I know a lot of people who have met people through online dating services. I have two friends actually. One I already went to the wedding and one they met and uh, at first actually I don't even think they were, they had to go out a few times before they, they really hit it off. I have two friends who are getting married in a couple of weeks and they met online. My girlfriend who I live with and have lived with for the last seven years, I met her online. We're in the studio today with Dr. Ian Kerner, a relationship expert with Match.com, the world's largest internet dating site. Welcome, Ian. Hey, Andrea. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. So, what do you tell people who say there's a stigma associated with dating online? Uh, I say get over it. You know, there's nearly 100 million singles out there, and I honestly bet that if you ask the vast majority of them, they would say they know people who have met people online, they're going online, or they're open to the idea of going online for dating. As an example, on Match.com, I think last year alone, 500,000 people said they were now in relationships that were life-changing. So half a million people. Half a million in one year. You wow. know? So I think get over any stigmas. The internet is here to stay. It's part of the fabric of our life. It's changed the way we shop, the way we communicate, the way we interact, and it has permanently changed the way we date. That's very true. So Ian, what have you seen change in the world of online dating? Well, I think one of the big changes is just the diversity and scope of people. So it's a huge pool of people. And you know, there used to be a time where you'd go online and you'd say, oh, I'm meeting the same guys or the same women over and over again. But I don't think that's happening anymore. And I think that's the big change, that there's just so much diversity. And I think one of the great things about going online is you sort of get out of your type. Mm -hmm. You meet lots of new people. You let yourself be surprised. It's a great great way to sort of stretch your boundaries, move outside your type. So try that, one, everything. Try everything. Yeah. So I think that's the, the big change that I've seen. So what are some of your favorite success stories from the online dating world? Well, you know, I think my favorite success stories involve seniors and people mm -hmm. that are in their 50s and 60s because when you hear online dating, you obviously think of people in their 20s and 30s who are internet savvy and have cell phones and Blackberries mm -hmm. and are totally getting it. But I have found so many um, seniors, people in their 60s, 70s and 80s, 80s who might have been a little internet shy jump in there and they're mastering it and so they're coming out and they're finding love online and so I always love when I hear those success stories the other thing that I always love is you'll go online you'll go on a date and you'll meet someone you like that person and you find out they live in your building you know or they were raised two doors down from you and so it really shows you that sometimes love can be just just across the street just around the corner or even upstairs that's really cool. And yeah. I think that that's a really important thing to point out to people. You just don't even know who's around. Nope. And, you know, Match.com and, and all of the online sites, I think part of it, part of what they really do is they allow you to broaden your reach, but also to really target and focus. So, you know, there are so many members and there are so many people in your community. And, you know, I think it's just such a great alternative. Benjamin Franklin said the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect a new result. And I think prior to online dating, that's what a lot of us would do. We'd go to the same bars, the same mm -hmm. parties. And I think online dating just really allows you to do new things in new ways. And right? new members are popping up every, every day. Every day. So that's a great point. So the advice, I know you said get over it. What else would you tell people who are unsure if they want to make the online dating leap? You can go on and com have complete confidentiality, complete anonymity. You can start to browse around and see who's out there. You can read other people's profiles. You can read how other people are presenting themselves. Mm -hmm. You can start to figure out, well, this might be the type of person that I like or I don't like. So I would say sort of take an opportunity to kind of study the site a little bit and watch and be an observer before you jump in. And I think, you know, the main thing is to just sort of get your toes wet in the shallow end. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ian, what do you think the future of online dating is? Well, I think the future of online dating is the future of the internet. Online video tutorials, uh, 
audio. Um, I think the future is going to be people being able to blog and really social network and messaging each other. And I just think wherever the internet is going, that's where dating and online dating is going to go. And internationalization. I just think, you know, we're going to see whatever country you're in, whatever language you speak, you're really going to be able to have internationalized, globalized experiences. That's so great. Global dating. What a great thing. Here's what we learned from Dr. Ian Kerner. Get over the stigma. Broaden your dating scope online. Try new things in new ways. And be an observer first before you join a dating site. To find out more, of course, visit Match.com or Ian Kerner's personal website, iankerner.com, and our website, onnetworks.com. Thanks for watching on dating. And remember, even a bad date makes a great story. So get out there and have some fun. I'm Andrea Sirtash. I'll see you next time. <laughs>